Okay, so I was just practicing on uh, how to show you, uh, but here we go. So we're going to slip knot our work. We're going to chain three. Uh, that's what your pattern calls for, I believe. One, two, three. Yarn over. You're going to go into that very first stitch you created. You're going to chain one, and then you'll just do a regular double crochet. So you'll go into that chain one space that you just created, which is right here. If I can get it, that would be great. So you go into that chain one space that you created, you chain one, double crochet, and then you're just going to keep doing that for however long your work um, tells you to do. I'm just going to do a couple so that I can show you how to, what to do next. I'll just do one more. Um, found Honestly, once you learn how to foundation chain, you'll never ever go back to chain in ever again. Okay, so we're gonna chain two. You're gonna flip your work. So now you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, you're going to yarn over. Now, if your pattern tells you to skip that first stitch and go into the second stitch, you'll yarn over and go into the second stitch. But if it doesn't and you have to go into the first stitch, it's exactly where you stopped. So we chain two and now we have this stitch right here and we're going to just double crochet how we normally would. Okay, um, so now you're at this last stitch. Now you have the option whether you want to go into the little V or into like this hole here. I like to just go into the hole there. You're going to chain two. You're going to turn your work and that's it. So now you are on row three. So that first um, foundation counts as row one. Then you go to the last one, and there you have it. I hope that helped.